Welcome back. Not sure we've ever seen <laughs> anything like this before. A starfish from Hogle Zoo getting some top of the line medical treatment. Got an MRI today, the starfish. An MRI, that's right. The animal became sick several months ago, and as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, veterans at veterinarians at the zoo are baffled. Mike, they're going all out. Yeah, that's why they're getting some special help from the University of Utah at their health care. Uh, the Sea Star, only known as Sea Star 31, uh, was at one time in this tank here. But one day when a keeper went to get him, she noticed that something was very wrong. In the rocky shores of Hogle Zoo, you would probably never notice the difference between a sick or healthy sea star inside this tide pool aquarium. Yeah, it's a lot different than a dog or cat that's limping or just acts really lethargic. But zookeeper Maggie McGrath noticed one day as she was taking it out. I just noticed he was very bloated, very swollen, not looking very well. I put him back in the tank and he didn't return to normal. And that's how Sea Star 31 ended up in this MRI today. Not something you see often, but veterinarians are hopeful it will help them see why 31 lost his twinkle. We will have the images and compare them to other Sea Star MRIs and hopefully try to determine what is going on with ours. It's unfamiliar territory for veterinarian Erica Crook, but then again, that's part of her job. When you work at a zoo, you work with animals from A to Z, but now we're working with the marine invertebrate, and it's a class of animals that not a lot of people know about. She says 31 is showing some symptoms of something much bigger. There is something kind of nebulous called sea star wasting disease and it has caused massive die-offs of sea stars in the ocean in the wild, especially along the Pacific Northwest. There's not much known about that disease and she's really not sure what this MRI will tell them, but if there's a chance 31 can shine again. That would be our goal, that someday we can get it healthy again so that um, the Hogle Zoo public could enjoy it. Yeah, so even if 31 gets better, there's actually no guarantee that he'll end up back in this tank. Apparently, uh, before he got ill, he was not uh, playing well with his tank mates. It was known to eat the snails here that they need to t take care of the algae. Back to you guys. Uh, 31 looks a lot like Patrick from SpongeBob to the rest of us. We wish it the very best. Mike Anderson live at Hogo Zoo. Thank you, Mike.